Any time you propose doing something that hasn't been done before, there's going to be people who say you can't do it. If everybody agreed with you, someone would have already done it. Someone already has. For nearly all of his 86 years, architect Jacques Fresco has been designing cities of the future. Fresco's structures all derive from a simple form that fascinated him as a boy. When I was about 12 years old, I was looking at a gear on a table, and I saw the cities of the future. I think all inventions are based upon experiences like that. I don't think they come out of nowhere. Fresco believes that civilization will be forced to colonize the sea if land becomes uninhabitable. The Earth can only support so many people comfortably. And if the population exceeds the capacity of the land, we're going to have to move seaward and build cities throughout the sea. Working from his Florida studio, Fresco has spent decades making detailed drawings of his futuristic ocean cities. He also builds prototypes, experimenting continually with new materials. He even lives in one. Fresco's even developed plans for transporting his structures out to sea. They'll be constructed out of modular sections, assembled on land by robots, and then towed to their final ocean destinations. Other structures will be made from high-tech materials called memory metal. These memory metals can be distorted, twisted, pulled out of shape. And then when a certain temperature is provided, that memory metal goes right back to its original shape. So buildings made from memory metals can be compressed into small cubes for towing and then snapped back to size upon arrival. And almost instantaneously, you will see a building erected before your eyes, and no humans working on it at all. Fresco's vision goes beyond architecture. He sees his cities as tools for fostering humanistic values. I feel that environment shapes our values. The people we know, the people we identify with, what will drive people in the future? A world without war, without hatred, without bigotry, without prejudice. The future must extend an invitation for all people to join in because the problems affect everybody.